All right, let's do this. Hey, it's your 11 here. And today, we got a hobby box. 1819 Upper Deck Chronology. Chronology, it's a familiar brand with Upper Deck. It used to be a basketball product back in the 2000s. Um, Upper Deck has a new deal with the NHL Alumni Association. So this is one of the products that will feature a bunch of alumni. Um, this is volume one. There will be a volume two next year. Now the layout for this product is you get four cards a box featuring only one autograph guaranteed. But there could be two additional autos in here and chase cards pretty much. Um, you get one base card or zero degree Celsius card. Um, what you can get is a hundred card base set. They're all numbered to 222 which is kind of weird. There's diamond relics. There's minis. Um, there's canvas cards including the uh, canvas uh, the legends masterpieces or at least that's what they look like. Um, so yeah. A lot of really cool autographs in here. Um, combo cuts, where they have cut signatures, a two on one card. There's Letterman, which are manufactured patches. They're kind of like draft day marks, but um, with retired players. Um, huge potential in here. Of course, it's upper deck, so you're going to get some Greskies, your Patch Guas, you got Mario Lemieux. Um, but there's also some a lot of questionable players in here. Um, a lot of <laughs> not so great players in here. So there's a bit of a risk. So yeah, let's check out 1819 Upper Deck Chronology. So yeah, Chronology. Check it out. Um, I believe it's 170 Canadian a box for fucking Chronology. So yeah, let's get right into it. Intrigued by this, um, decided to go with one box. Um, it's pretty pricey. So yeah, a bit of an interruption, but we're back here. Um. Still gotta break the seal here. So yeah, let's open this up. Uh, right there. Kind of confused on how to open this, but yeah, I'm gonna break the whole. Yeah, I'm gonna ruin the case. Should use a knife. Need a box cutter. Yeah. All right. There we go. All right. Here's the pack. Four cards per pack. So yeah. Let's get it out here. Gotta be real careful here. I do not know what the size of these cards are. I mean, they could be regular size for all I know. But yeah, here's a pack. Pretty freaking small pack. So yeah, let's get right into it. Um, those Letterman cards, I believe you get like, maybe they're like one in every other pack. So there's a good chance of getting one of those. But yeah. Um, okay, here's a base card. Um, number the 222, you got Borea Salming. Now, base cards are like your standard size base cards, which is interesting. But yeah, Borea Salming, base. So here's a base card. Um, interesting design on it. Definitely reminds me of um, like Legends Masterpieces or the back even reminds me of uh, Portfolio a bit. But yeah, there you go. Borea Salami, numbered 158 of 222. Next card up. Um, <laughs> that was pretty nice. Got a Cujo. Chronology. Um, timeless Memories. We got like a, a stick piece and a gold auto on a canvas. So that's a real nice card right there. Cujo on the blues. Uh, number 11 of 25. <laughs> oh, jeez. I see the next card. The next card's pretty sweet, too. Next card's a for sure keeper. Um, yeah, Cujo. Real nice card. Beautiful card. Cujo. Cujo's awesome. Next card is just... Oh, yeah. George LaRock Auto. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, George LaRock. Look at those pedaling minutes. Awesome card. There's a keeper right there. Beautiful card. Love it. On card. George Rock, and we got a Time Capsules as the final card of Matt Sundin. Matt Sundin Time Capsules. Is that numbered or anything? But yeah, there you go. It says the alumni there. So yeah, only four cards. Okay, so I want to just quickly review in the footage. Um, time Capsules. Now, I did not notice this. Inside this Time Capsule are numerous possibilities. Look for SP Minis, Autograph Minis, and Original, original Painting Redemption. To discover what's inside, open the card using the perforated line on the back. Uh, I don't really want to ruin this, but I guess so. Perforated line. Um, uh, geez. Oh, this feels so wrong. I don't know what I'm doing and I'm kind of scared. All right, here we go. Oh, geez. Okay, all right, I got it open. Ta -da! All right, we got Denny Potvin. It's in a sleeve, which is nice. So freaking morons like me don't completely destroy it. I kind of would rather have just have that. 
Oh well. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got Danny Potvin. Uh, mini numbered four out of sixty. Really interesting. Really uh, kind of weird. I just had to ruin that Matt Sundin card to get this out. Like, ah, uh, I mean, the front's still all right. Uh, yeah, it's fine. The back is kind of. But yeah, that's really uh, interesting. Danny Potvin. Ah. Huh. Um. But yeah, yeah, guys. There's chronology. Um, there you go. You got the Solomon base. You got the time capsules of Matt Sundin. Um, you got some Leafs flavor to this break. Um, even though Cujo's on the blues here. But yeah, real nice card. Gold ink. Um, I don't know about the centering. Uh, it seems pretty fine. But yeah, number to 25. That's probably a pretty nice uh, pull right there. Timeless memories. And you got a George the Rock auto, which is really cool. You don't see those every day so yeah guys um uh, stay tuned for more bricks to come and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later